Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Any Watch, and we are back with my um, One Watch Five New Looks video, right? So in this type of style of video, I take a look at a the watch that I've that I have reviewed before and giving them a few strap options. So in this case, five <laughs> new strap options for this particular watch, which is this um, Christopher Ward C six three three C Lander thirty six millimeter in Acer Red colorway. So this watch was kindly sent in to me by my uh, subscriber Miss Farhana. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. And yep. Let's go through the um, dimensions of this particular piece, right? So the uh, I've measured this one at a 36.4 millimeters in diameter from here to here, and a thickness of just about 11.2 millimeters, very very thin, and a lug to lug of just 42.8, right? So from here to here, and it sports a nine or oh, oh, a 20 millimeters lug, with which makes it a very easy watch to swap out and change out the style right so according to your situation every single day or every single week or every single month depending on your you know on your preference right so first up is an easy choice <laughs> right so you can't go wrong with a black uh, strap so you can always pair a black strap with Add with various types of uh, dial colorways. So this time around, I've got this. You see that this stripe is quite bad battered already. So I've used this quite a lot, right? So this one is a Hawin leather from uh, NomadWatchWorks.com, right? So it's quite a lot of creases here and there. And yeah, it 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 still holds well. Right? And in this one, it was sent in to me by Nomad Watch Works uh, Singapore, right? So um, I just can't remember how much I that how much does this thing cost? Maybe around thirty to forty US dollars, but still. Uh, every now and then they run a few promotion right so nicely done hoeing leather here it's quite uh, it's quite thick but not really not really that you know it, it is you know easy to use out of the box right so oh, the one thing that i should mention about this particular watch is that you can see that um there's the shape there indentation on the case at at the back not the case at the case itself so it makes it gives a little bit more clearance to the strap so that you won't hurt the top of your of your strap right so fixed keepers here movable keeper here with this simple white stitching here and we have quick release pins making it easy to use right so let's just uh, put it put the watch on the wrist and see how it looks like but before, before we do that let's do a quick wristwatch check today I am wearing my Squale 1545 uh, Tropic so this one I bought last year to celebrate um, my achievements for the for the year to 2022 awesome looking watch but um unfortunately the loom is not that great but still you see that the difference between this 36 millimeters watch versus a 40 millimeters diverse watch and yeah it, it looks okay because one look at it you see that the dial on this particular watch is big that makes it uh, gives it much much more presence right so on the wrist right so this is how it looks like on my 6.75 or oh, 17 centimeters circumference wrist size so i have no idea why <laughs> it's difficult to go right so i'm on the fourth hole it's a bit tight but i can go for the fifth hole like so and you can see that we still have about three holes left so yeah i doubt that anyone that is above I seven and seven and quarter inches can still use this particular strap, but still do check out with Nomad Watch Works if they have something a bit uh, longer. But yeah, still for my wrist, this is just nice, right? So that is strap number one. Let's go to strap number two. All right, so next up is the second strap for today. So this one is a brown leather strap from San Martin, right? <coughs> <coughs> San Martin has kindly sent me this uh, strap for review uh, last year and you can <laughs> I just I, I don't know guys so the red Acer red color dial and it somehow matches the brown colorway of this particular strap so and it has this uh, what do you call this brown color stitching so we have that San Martin logo stamp um, on the buckle here I am on the fourth hole and we have about yep three holes left so again so if you guys have bigger wrist than seven and quarter inch wrist so please do ask saint martin if if they have something um, a little bit longer right so you can see that there is a little bit of padding here but it's not really that thick so i just generally i just don't like um padded leather strap but still this one is quite soft and supple and it is you know easy there's no need for a breaking period out of the box and yep i you know it, it looks cool right so of course again we have a quick release pins here and the colorway i think we they have a few other colorway as well and 
the most important thing about this particular strap is that it it, it feels like it feels like a cushion right so of course it is leather 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 strap but it feels like cushion so due to, mainly due to that uh, particular padding right so that is uh, strap number two from San Martin and let's go to strap number three alright guys so what do you guys think of a green strap on a red color dial right so <laughs> yeah it looks a bit Christmassy in, in here but still I, I don't know guys so I think it looks cool what do you guys think so this because the red here is not really um a bright red it's a bit there's a little bit of an orange tinge to it i think it works but yeah still do let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think of this um you know this um style of combination of of strap so again this one is from uh, saint martin this is a full grain leather strap i think so um s almost similar not a you see the, the texture is a bit different between these two strap um, and yeah, I think it looks cool in my opinion and again f uh, quick release pins with this uh, leather backing and uh, a similar almost similar um, s Buckle system here fix keeper and movable keeper here and but but yeah still um, <laughs> I know guys it looks cool. I I've been toying of uh, About the idea of putting this strap on this green strap on this particular watch and yeah, I think it looks it, it looks okay might be not the best choice but still i think for something that if you guys like green this one might, might be a great option for you guys right so that is strap number three let's go to strap number four all right so strap number four for today is this awesome i just can't remember the color of this particular piece this is a mahogany red or maybe wine red <laughs> of course i will put the correct name up here the, but this one is from the uh, Vario Singapore Italian uh, vintage leather strap and yeah I just love this thing right so it tapers from 20 millimeters to 16 millimeters at the end of the strap and damn it looks this I just really love this uh, red color right so again I'm, I'm I'm on the fourth hole so there's still four holes left so maybe people up to seven and a quarter inches can still use this particular strap but still great option from Vario Singapore so we've got the uh, uh, quick release pins here and um, this what do you, what is this logo I just can't read it okay something something vegetable ten letter I think right so anyway so fix keepers here and movable keepers here I just love how this thing looks on this uh, wine red color what do you guys think so let's go to strap number five which is this rally style strap from um cozy leather right so cozy leather base in singapore so this one is a custom made uh, custom made strap so according to your it will be made according to your resize and your preference so i choose this um very dark um i just <laughs> maybe it looks almost similar to this one nope you can see that there is a bit of uh, red here but this one is much much more brown but check out those holes guys so very very nicely done and i've ho i've had this for i don't know three or four years and you can see that the build quality is still um you know it tests it stands the test of time so um i have no i'm not really sure whether they they are using quick release pins nowadays but when i got mine from cozy leather so they don't they didn't have that at that point in time but maybe they do but yeah still awesome looking strap and awesome high quality craftsmanship by uh, cozy leather strap so you can see that the the cozy branding name is h at the bat at the bottom of the uh, of the class sorry the, not class as the, the buckle here and yeah it looks cool right so this is how the christopher ward c63 c lander um 36 in acer red looks on my skinny wrist so the the, the, leather, the leather is a bit thick but still it kind of giving that um you know much look to the watch or otherwise a pretty you know <laughs> feminine looking um yeah petite watch and yeah i just love this style of uh, strap so there you have it guys my five different options for this um christopher ward c63 c lander 36 in acer red right so thank you very much uh, for <laughs> for again um miss um for my subscriber miss <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so to, to my subscriber who sent me this particular watch and yeah and if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and, and until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye